Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a fridge restock, a little room organizing, and then I'm also going to do a little nail room tour. I've waited so long to do the nail room tour, and I'm finally going to do it. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. all right guys welcome to my room so we're just gonna go in a complete circle so i can just kind of show you guys what i have going on so this is my mirror my full mirror i have this cute little mat mat at the door that's supposed to match like my whole maroon theme but i'll show you guys more of that so this is my full mirror i haven't put this mirror up as yet because i'm still trying to figure out the placement of everything um, I also bought this little throw from the dollar store, believe it or not, for $5. Um, it's supposed to match my little winter theme that I got going on. This is my little pedicure area. This is where I obviously put my hot towels. You just simply, I just simply turn it on, put my hot towel in and it gets it nice and steamy. So right under here, I have primer, monomer, a scrub brush for the dust, top coat, a little flash cure for when I do designs, dehydrator, scrub, base coat, buffer, sanding bits, band, sorry. Basically anything I would need to successfully do a pedicure. Then when I open my little cabinet, I have some sanitized tools, a drill, which I'm very annoyed because I can't find a charger for it. So yeah, I have these little disposable pumice bars, some files. I love these files. Love them. Um, some of these to clean around the nail, sorry, the cuticle area once I'm done nipping this is just a little case and some cuticle remover which i barely use but i said you know what i'll just keep it you just never know some people may have excessive cuticles and this is my pedicure chair i didn't want to go the route of doing the whole massage chair because I didn't want to bother, bother with the piping. That was my issue. So I opted for this, whereas I put my little pedicure. It comes out more, guys. Let me see if I can. But I'm using one hand at the moment. 
So this, this goes up and down. And then this comes out and I put the pedicure bowl here and the client's able to put their feet directly down and then it closes inward. Sorry, I'm charging my laptop. I'm actually gonna unplug this. Place that there. So I do have in this back area a laundry bin that I put all my dirty towels in, which right now I actually need to wash and I do have my towel warmer plugged into this wall. I also plugged the pedicure tub in to that socket. Then as we move on, I have my little heater. It's very cold right now, so I'm just keeping it warm as I'm in here. This is just a little storage room that I store like my vacuum and any other little stuff that I don't need. I have a ring light which I'm actually going to turn on because the more light we have, the better. So I'm actually gonna turn it on and place it right here. So when I'm showing you guys, you can see everything. So then we move on. I have some powders here. I'm not gonna tell you guys with what, which brand the powders are. It was a beginner mistake that I made. Um, I purchased I saw like the hype on Instagram, to be honest. I saw the hype and I bought like a bunch of powders before even trying one. And I ended up not liking them. They did not work the way that I felt that they showed or advertised. So yeah, I don't even use them. They're just pretty, so I just have the the pretty jar there but I would not recommend the brand honestly because at least for me I don't like the powders at all the consistency I've tried different monomers I've tried everything and then they're the powders have like a lot of marbling yeah so we're not gonna spend too much time on that so down here I have my Valentino powders I I love that brand a lot these are the pigment powders, so you know if you need to do any designs or anything, these are the powders that you would use. Um, I hope to get to use these more, but it looks like I use mostly my cover powders, which I'm going to show you next. But Valentino, yes, I like. Consistency, the way it lays. Yeah. All right, moving on, guys. These are my swashes. When I tell you guys that this took me forever, like, but I tried to like watch movies while I did it. So these are the acrylics. These are like the cover acrylics here. Then I have the pigment acrylics, which, which are these little smaller ones. And then these are some more pigment acrylics. And then these are all of my gel polishes. So all of the gel polishes from different brands And I just kind of wanted it to be really organized for when, for when I show clients. Like, who wants to be trying to, like, show the client what what you have by, like, putting the polish on a napkin or acrylic on a napkin? That is just not doable. So, yep, I took the time to just swash everything. And honestly, even when my clients show me, like, a design that they want to do... I can, it's even easier for me to just grab gel polish and be like, oh, this looks similar to that. Let me use this. It's just way easier. So these are my daily charms. I have this little, these two here are daily charm, the little oval. This is Valentino. I only have a few of their gel polishes, but I really like them. Love Daily Charm. These are like miscellaneous gel polishes that I got from, let me tell you guys. I 
if I can get I have so some of these are from Amazon sorry I'm holding the camera in the next one some of these are OPI some of these are from Tracy's nails and yeah so these are this is just like a mixture of different polish brands what is this one same with this this is a mixture of D&D &D, Amazon some jelly colors love them the nudes so that's basically it for my polish swashes I guys <laughs> I usually just show them to my clients. I don't really like the clients actually showing themselves because let's just say they're soaking up their nails. There's just always the chance that acetone can get on it and I just don't wanna have to redo any of them. So yes, so moving on, we have more pigment colors from Valentino. I actually got this Acrygel Light Nude. And I have the clear one also. I've never actually used them, but I will in the future. I'm going to try something out. I think it's more of like a soft gel that you just place over either your real nails or probably extensions. I'll have to do some more research before I actually do it. Moving on, I have this black from Glam and Glitz. This is just some random. Uh, I think this was a dip powder that I use for acrylic sometimes. More Valentino cover powders. I have most of their color powders because I like the consistency and they work really well for me. This is Nude Panther from Not Polish. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm sorry. There we go. I love this color. This color is good. I love the brand also. Um, so mainly I use Valentino and not polish because i love them even down here i just got a a new monomer i use that monomer in addition to sometimes young nails it just depends i'm still trying to see what's like the perfect combination for me but not polish their consistency i think is my favorite right now love the consistency the colors everything so yeah these are all the cover colors that i have Yep, I have this little tray next to my, sorry, first I have this um, humidifier. It's not a humidifier. It's, uh, what do you call it? it? It helps with odor. I'm sorry guys, I don't remember the name of what you call this thing, but it helps with the odor when you're doing acrylic. So great buy. Definitely I would recommend if you need to contain your scent of monomer you can get one of those in addition to a window having a window open so yes this is just some nail polish remover that i use to dip my brush in when i'm doing nail art some vitamin e oil and a hobo oil these are some some D, &D polishes some stamping plates i like i really like the stamping I like it. It's really cute. And moving on, I bought some awesome brushes from Nails by Dev. Awesome brushes. Um, this is just a cute little care card that she gives you to take care of them. So cute. I kept them because they were so cute. Um. I was supposed to organize my foils into this little binder. I have not gotten a chance. Maybe that'll be a cool video. What's this? Oh, little sticker from Nails by Dev. I'm actually gonna put this on my laptop. Moving down to the bottom, more of these. I have my little di um, sorry, picture stickers, some more files, my diamond which I used to use back then. I have some coasters that I got from like Home Goods, And then this is a little palette to put some, to do nail art with, to put polish on. 
Got my little plant. Woo! Child, y'all, I was bending down for like a minute. These, oh, how can I forget? Hold on. My little masterpieces that I purchased from Arts by Moon. Love it. I'm sorry, I'm going to love SpongeBob until I'm 60 years old. I don't even watch it, but I just love the characters, the art. I love it. This is my little area for my beverages. I have this cute little, you guys see why I want to put the mirror up? It matches this and this. So if I put it on the wall that I'm going to show you guys, it'll be cute. So this is my little fridge with my little message. I have water sodas and frappuccinos right now. I need to get some more beverages, but I don't have like a boatload of clients right now because I did move from another state. So I'm building, rebuilding my clientele as we speak. This is my little Nespresso area. I just put that in case with my little table that I love so much. I don't know if you remember, it matches the pedicure stand that I have. I got this little thing that matches. Yeah? Huh? Y'all see that? <laughs> I got this little thing to put my Nespresso pods in. I have some little cane sugars. And my little cup, the double wall insulated cup. And then this is where I would foam my creamer up for my clients. Yep, little machine. Down here, I have some PR packages that I'm gonna be doing some videos on soon that I have not gotten a chance to do. So stay tuned for that. This is a little Ikea draw. How did I almost forget? Okay, so in my Ikea drawers, I have it semi-organized, but these are just some glitter, some embellishments, like little flowers I can encapsulate. Glitter, some foil, some dried flowers, some leaves. I got these little caviar beads in the back here. Some stickers that I never use. Oh my god, I need to use them. I have some glitters that I got years ago from Glitter Planet. I have some of these gold embellishments. Some chrome from Daily Charm. Ooh, I can't wait to use these. I can't wait to use these little leaves. Almost time for fall to be over. I need to hurry up. I have some little like caviar bees more some foils i need to do a giveaway i don't know if you are a subscriber if you guys use dip please comment in the what, what am i talking about comment on the video and let me know if you guys use dip powder maybe i'll do a giveaway for a dip powder um collection opi because i no longer do dip so maybe that's something i can do i'm still learning different things that i can do so let me know if you guys do dip in the comments i can't wait to use these i've never used them never these are just some more glitters some chrome powders, some chain, fishnet, so you know you can make the fishnet thing in the, you can do the fishnet on the acrylic before it dries. Some rhinestones, some more chrome powders. I've never used these. Some pearls, some more foils. I have dry, dry erase markers, some more glitters, 
more foil, some eyeshadow applicators for Chrome, some little, ooh, some little goodies for me to do like butterflies and let me see what this is. Butterflies, all butterflies. Can't wait to use my little Halloween stuff. Hopefully this week I'll be using these on some of my clients. little pumpkin some more butterflies what else some more foils some more Halloween stickers also I have like this lace foil it's really cool I need to see how I can use these guys This, in this drawer, I have nail forms. I have, I don't really do a lot of forms, but it would be cool to do a few more. I also have these little cute stones. are my stones that have pointed backs some buffers I haven't used these because they're too rough I didn't realize they were so rough I saved this little rhinestone dish because you know we can always reuse things as nail types I have this little cute stand These are some swatch sticks. This is my little square machine reader. What else we got? Unlimited sanding bands. I think these are the rough ones. I don't really like the rough ones. I, I prefer fine. These are some little guards for your finger so you don't if you have like irritation these these are the files that i like to use on natural nails they're not too coarse and then these this is my little stone collection swaborski some glass stones <sighs> moving on these i think i purchased these to do some nail art on but i swear i never have time these are just some filters for my dust collector more filters some little bags horse ties empty jars that i'm gonna probably use if i mix a color and some hangers Moving on, my little TV and my little clock. I have a little scent dispenser up there that just sprays every few minutes. Which I need to turn it around. Then I just have my little IKEA shelf with the little pictures. I usually keep my hand towels here, but I'm going to wash them. As you saw, they were all dirty. I got my little fall pumpkin this is the door where my clients come in and then I'm working on my nail polish situation on the wall um still working on organizing everything guys trying to figure out where I want everything to be so you can stay tuned for that I have this little organizer here that's kind of odd, but it serves a good purpose for right now. I still need to, I still need to put these in my little case.
These are some nails that I did. I need, this is my little case of nails and I need to put these, these in the case. Most of the nails you guys see, I like to save them. Lilo, some marble. This thing is so cool. And down here I have the mouth for my hand, some alcohol, Clorox, disinfecting spray, a drop cord. This is a little thing that I have to do. I'm going to be putting my computer on the desk over there so I can add it in here also. So this is what I'm going to, I'm going to have to plug it in and then feed the drop cord over the sides for right now. Because I don't have enough sockets. In this drawer, I just have miscellaneous stuff, some more swashes, my little finger, some nail tips that I really don't use, so if I need to practice, I can use them. These are my foils. This is my other hand, my old glamorless hand. I got my Ip Apre, um, Sean Legend pouch. This is also another mount from my new Red Iguana hand. I have some gel lights in here. This is the one I use for the feet. This is one of my backup lights, just in case. You never know, you don't want to be doing a client and then the light goes out starting here. So this is where I'm thinking of putting that mirror that I told you guys about, right here, but I'm still thinking. These are my hands, just some little doodles I did. That's one hand and then this is the next. So I'll just keep them right here because they're cute. Then I have some more not polish powders. Just got them organized. These are my stamping polishes. Love them. Then I organized my nail art polishes, guys. You saw that. If you didn't, I'm gonna clip that video in. And then these are my daily charm polishes i have them all on this little shelf love it i got some led lights that i'm going to hook up also and this is my little flash carrying light and a little kiara scar um kiara sky jelly tip kit i'm going to be trying these out again i did them once for a little trip that i took i'm going to do it again maybe i'll make a video another video then I have this little desk. So what I'm trying to do, this is my stand-up desk, because I love to stand. Love it, because I feel like I have bad posture when I sit down. So I'm trying to figure out if this desk should stay here or go over here. And I'm like, if I'm doing a pedicure, I don't want to accidentally spill water anywhere. But the only issue with having the desk here is I don't have a plug that's the only annoying part so I have to think about where I'm going to put it but yeah I'll update you guys once I figure it out but that is it oh wait no it's not okay so this is how it looks from here sorry excuse that garbage over there I just did that a few minutes ago this is my desk I 
I left it like this so I can just do a little cleanup video with you guys. But in this drawer, I have just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff like my chargers, some gloves, lint free wipes. So like my extra top coats, my buffers, my pens, some scrub brush, brushes, sorry. Yep. Well, it's just a bunch of junk, honestly. And then in this drawer, I have a little haul that I'm going to do. Don't look. I have my not polish tips. They're very nice. I have this not telling you that's a part of the haul these are just little containers that I put my implements in stay tuned for the haul this is where I keep my brushes so I have a crap ton of brushes realistically I only use like four to five of these I actually need to sit down and go through this and organize like which ones I'm not going to use. Throw them away. This is one of the nippers I use to take off stones. This is like my slicing tool. You know when you want to do those diagonal acrylic sets. This is one of my top coats. My stone glue. Ooh. Some markers. So like if you want to draw like five lines, they all have like, so this is a 0 0.2, so you just, it's like a very small pen. I have some rings that I don't use, honestly. I don't know why I have those there. These are the dip polish dip powders that I would tell it, that I was telling you guys about. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. This is a little organizer that I'll keep cash in if I get cash from my clients. Let's move to the desk. So on the desk, I have this like quick go-to with everything in it. Top coat, scrub brush to remove dust, flash cure, hand sanitizer, primer dehydrator young nails wipe that's that then i have like lint free wipes here i have my little light that i got from amazon it's doing pretty good i think i'll keep it i just got it then if we move on i have these two lights my two gel lights from amazon also i got this hand rest from petite nails i it's the companies in Europe, I did pay the shipping because I saw how amazing it was, and it definitely is. You just have to get your client at the right level, and it works perfectly because then the hand's not all the way down here. It's like hanging, so you can kind of do what you need to do. I have to do some PR for this company here, Nail, what's it, Nail Reserve. This is my dust collector. It does a great job at getting, it doesn't get everything, obviously, but it does get a majority of the, sorry, bleh, majority of the dust it collects. Um, I just try to dump it out daily. Like, as you can see, I need to dump it. It's like, there's a good bit in there. So you just basically hit it out and then put it right back in. Um, we're going to clean this up together. This is like a little phone stand over there for my client. Uh, so in my first drawer, I like to keep all my essentials, such as my files, my buffers, dehydrator, primer, nail glue, bits. These are like extra bits. But the bits I use the majority of the time are here. So I have some my matte top coat, my foil transfer gel, blooming gel. I don't know if I like this. Every time I've used it, I don't I don't feel like it looks the way it's supposed to look. So I wouldn't recommend getting that. This is 
something we're gonna put up later. These are where I, I keep my sanding bits here. This is my gel foundation and top it off. Some spider gel. And then I have like young nails. Stain resistant gel top coat. It's it works perfect, but it's not as shiny as a regular top coat, obviously, because it's heavy duty. This is my nail drill that I love. The color is still to this day. It's a Mani Pro. These I use for the cuticles. This I use to help with like these little knobs you see i have that big knob on my thumb it's over usage of the on my not my thumb my middle finger it's like over usage of a finger these help by adding padding if you have like a little cut or something these are nice to protect your hand i have some gloves some more files this is my tip drawer i have all my tips from a prey this brand i love I have some Piara Sky. Yep. And then these are some nail art paints that I have. They're really great. I got them from E Nail Couture. I have a shit ton of them. These are good for drawing. These are my pigments for if I want to do like neon French some blue this is the blue I use currently these are extra tips for the natural stiletto tips I showed you guys because I really like those I have some sharpies these are also good paints to have if you like to do oh I need to clean that up mm -hmm. these are also some good paints to have if you like to do nail art these are from Vetro this is also an extra little light I have from my cart. And some more swatches. Last drawer, I have my bibs. Sterilization, sterilization pouches. Um, some ink. Marble ink. And then these are just some regular polishes that I have. So that is it. Oh. Last thing, my paper towel. And then... On the desk, I have these little this little glass mirror studded holder for my brushes. And I also keep my alcohol right there. Under my desk is like rigged to keep all the wires away, guys. But it's working. I'm, I'm going to do a separate video to show you how I did this if you're interested. But yeah. I'm going to have to redo this one soon. But it's working. It's working. It's working. Then I have this rigged down here, just to keep wires out of the way. This is also my little carrier, which, which I keep some polishes, which I should probably put on the wall, some brushes, my monomer, some powders. Then I have my clips, cottons, some gloves, some acetone. Then I have my little backdrops. And that is it, guys. So let's do a little circle. So this is my room.